India has taken a giant leap in defense technology, joining the ranks of global powers like the United States, China and Russia with the successful development of a highly powered laser weapon capable of shooting down enemy drones, both fixed wing and swarm types. This breakthrough marks a historic milestone for India's military capabilities and positions it among the elite nations with advanced directed energy weapons, better known as the DEWs or the DEWs. Developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, that's the DRDO, the MK2A laser directed energy weapon, DEW, was recently put to test at the National Open Air Range in Kurnool district of Andhra Pradesh. The weapon uses a 30 kilowatt high energy laser beam to neutralize incoming threats with precision speed and devastating impact. According to DRDO officials quoted by news agency ANI, the system successfully intercepted and destroyed fixed wing drones, thwarted multiple drone attacks and obliterated enemy surveillance equipment, including sensors and antenna. What's more impressive? Well, it all happened within seconds, a feat that demonstrates the system's lightning-fast targeting and lethal accuracy. The indigenous MK2A system has been developed by DRDO's Center for High Energy Systems and Sciences, also known as CHESS, in Hyderabad, in collaboration with several DRDO labs, including LRDE, IRDE, DLRL, along with academic institutions and Indian industry partners. So how does this sci-fi sounding weapon actually operate? Once a target is detected, either through radar on its onboard electro-optic EO system, the laser weapon fires an intense beam of light that can slice through drones and projectiles with surgical precision. The beam causes structural failure, disabling or destroying the threat mid-air. And all this happens at the speed of light. Besides being deadly effective, the DEW system is also incredibly cost-efficient. The cost of firing the weapon for a few seconds is reportedly similar to that of just a few liters of petrol. This positions the laser weapon as a long-term, low-cost alternative to conventional munitions, especially in countering cheap, mass-produced drones that are increasingly used in modern warfare. DRDO Chairperson Dr. Samir Rikamad, speaking after the demonstration, said that this was just the beginning. One is scaling the power, one is the beam combination to achieve higher efficiency of their combination. But we are sure that in, in the next few years we will have this capability. We are also, as DGECS mentioned, looking at how we can miniaturize it to put it on airborne platforms, how to put it on ships. So this is a journey which has started today, which is a demonstration what we gave you today. It's just the start of the journey. And with the synergy that this lab has achieved with other DRDO laboratories, industry and academia, I'm sure we'll reach our destination soon. This is one of the technologies, but we are also working on other high energy systems like high energy microwaves, electromagnetic pulse. So we are working on several technologies which will give us the Star Wars capability. What you saw today was one of the components of the Star Wars. So there are several projects which are now reaching its maturity. Over the next six months to one year, you will see several of our systems getting inducted. So VLSR, SAM, v MPATGM, then we have uh, the LCA Mark II, also first flight should happen. So there are a lot of our systems which have reached now a maturity, and over the next six months to one year, you will see several of them getting in done. If you look at any program anywhere in the world, it takes between 10 to 15 years to develop a new platform. So we have started this journey only in 2024 when the CCS sanctioned this project. So it will take 10 years and historically that is not, uh, we have committed to delivering the platform by 2035. And that is uh, as per what time most countries have taken to develop their fifth generation. So we want to start a aero engine program and we are looking at a collaboration with a foreign OEM to make sure to cut down the risks of a development. As you are aware, aero engine technology is a very complex technology. Although we have learned a lot of lessons from Kaveri, Kaveri was the fourth generation engine and the current 
engine technology has moved to sixth generation. So we want to work with a foreign OEM to cut down the risks as well as cut down the time for development. Hopefully, we will have some good news on this in the next few months. And this will be a sixth generation? Yeah, it will be a high thrust to weight ratio engine exceeding 10. So as far as I am aware, it is the United States of America, Russia and China who have demonstrated this capability. The Israelis are also working on similar capabilities. So we, I would say, are either the fourth or the fifth country in the world to have demonstrated this system. No, we have not yet uh, decided the final name. We will let you know once the decision is done.